vlog is going to be all about all the activities that you can do on the ship. If you're new to this channel, I have a disability, so I will be reviewing the accessibility of the activities and I'll be using my scooter throughout. Um, but I am traveling with people who are not disabled, so I'm going to give them the camera on any activities that I can't do. For the Utopia, I'll also have vlogs all about food, two room tours because we got upgraded, they're both accessible rooms, a tour of the ship, and a vlog all about food, and another one for Coco K. Okay, so let's go! I'm starting by showing the low-key activity of shopping because originally I was including shows and events that we went to into this vlog, but it was getting way too long, so I will have another vlog that shows all about that. So as you can see, there's many different clothes options, and there's also other things to shop for, such as art. This is in Park West right here. This is really real art, so it's not cheap. Um, they even have some Disney art, which was really surprising. You can also shop for jewelry, all different kinds here. And you'll see that this is actually one of the events that I was talking about. You'll see I have a ticket. This was like a raffle that they had. So there's so many things going on all the time. It's impossible to experience everything. But if you want to know everything that goes on, they do show it on the app. Here's a look at the app when you're on the ship. They have a list of all the activities and you can click on them if you want more info about where they are and who it's suitable for, things like that. So you'll see that I'm going to click right on the rock climbing wall there. And I was just looking to see if it was accessible. It wasn't. Um, you'll, I'll show this more later. Um, but yeah, this is just scrolling through all of the activities section. But again, this doesn't even include events. If you want to see everything that you could do, the best spot to look is the daily planner, which shows everything that's going on hour by hour. So as you can see, there's multiple things that go on each hour, depending what's interesting to you, um, what you are, you know, able to do. There's different things like quarterback challenge is like, you know, playing football. It doesn't go on all the time. There's trivia games. There's other types of games. There's so much to do. And um, there's other excursions that you can do at the ports. We did not do this, but this is just an idea of what they are. There are professional photographers at different spots throughout the ships, and I saw them at Perfect Day. And there are photos that you can purchase, so you get rid of the watermark, but there is a spot where you can look at all of them on the ship. And there's even a cool video, which is what you guys want to see, because I know that opening clip caught your attention. So I will show the zip line now. <laughs> If you want something a little bit more relaxing, you can try to find a spot at a pool. Not saying it's always going to be relaxing like this because there's sometimes parties and music playing, but they do have drinks served to you right where you're sitting. And they also have cabanas for rent. Those were like the beds on the side. A great trivia question would be how many chairs are on board because there are so many. It's just all about location. But I do really like how they have an accessible seat that you can use to get into the hot tub. Tip about the hot tubs, they are see-through, so don't do anything weird if you don't want the people below to see it. To the left below is a children's pool area where they have some different obstacles and different water fountain things. I didn't want to go directly in there and film, but I'll show it a little better in a second. So now we are going into the solarium, which is pretty much all adults only, except this little area right here, which is technically allowed for people under 18. And then you see this yellow sign right here that says adults only. So yeah, you can go in that little pool, I guess, if you're under 18. Um, but yeah, this place is really quiet, really relaxing, so many places to sit. They do have accessible seats there for the hot tubs. And the pools, not all of them, but at least one for each. If you don't like couples in PDA, you may want to bring some anti-nausea medication if you come in here. Just a pro tip. I 
know. Here it is at night. Sometimes they have events in here. Here's your restaurant. All these bird cage looking things. So now if you're done relaxing, we can check out the Flow Rider. They do have lessons here, um, but a lot of people just do the boogie boarding and there are staff on the sides to help you out a little. So remember these drink dispensers from the food vlog? Well, apparently she pulled one back like a beer tap and broke it off. So let's see how Aiden does at the flow rider. Now let's check out the abyss, which is a dry slide. But before that, look at this little soccer game under the table. I just love how there's just so many activities everywhere. Like this is just a table on the deck of the ship and you can just play soccer with your feet. I've never seen this before. Back to the abyss and yes, as you can see, the slide goes outside of the ship. So obviously this isn't very accessible with all those stairs. I will say you do sit on like a cushion of some sort and that's what propels you down through the tubing. And here's the floor where you land on and you can check out all those twists and turns. To the left of the exit, you can see a little jungle gym for the kids over there. There's other playground areas for kids too. As you can see this playscape right here, it actually is on multiple levels. That lighthouse is a slide that's inside of the mini golf area that does go down through the levels. And of course there are some adult play areas like this big basketball court. There's also ping pong tables. There are many different activities that they hold in these areas too. Like pickleball is held on the basketball court, which I love to see is accessible. That right there is the launching pad for the zip line. And yeah, they have like dodgeball here, many different things, none of them that I partook in. If you don't like always checking an app, there are TVs places that say activities and things to do throughout the day. So this area here is where the water show is held at night. And as you see, this staircase leads up to the rock climbing wall. There's also another staircase on the other side. I asked if there was any way the scooter could get there and they were like, yeah, but it's hard. There's like a bump. So there is no accessible rock climbing either, but that does exist. So that was one of my tips for them to try to get more accessible activities. To be honest, I was relieved it wasn't accessible because I'm afraid of height. And I got called out by Paralympians over the summer for calling rock climbing a red flag hobby. And they were like, you actually need to try it. And I was like, okay. So I was like, let me check if this is accessible. And I was like, darn, it's not. If you want to get called out or feel insecure, why don't you head all over to the Social 100? I'm just being sarcastic. This is the teen hangout spot. I just say that because, no offense, this would have been my worst nightmare as a teen just going there by myself. But this place was lit at night. Is it still cool to say that? I don't even know. Check out this. You can take selfies in that mirror. That's cool. It's very hiply decorated. Um, they have movies, they have books, they have video games, they have all furniture that looks really low to the ground and it would have been a disaster for me to try to get out of. But they do have some cool touchscreen things over here. Again, disaster furniture for me, beanie bags. Um, what are those bean? Oh, bean bag chairs, beanie bags, beanie babies. I'm really aging myself here. So yeah, teens do flock to this place at night. I know it doesn't look it, but just take my word for it. If you're traveling with kids younger than teens, Adventure Ocean is like the babysitting service, I guess you would call it, where they have separations of different age groups. Um, I don't know too much about it, but this is where it is. This is also the location of the escape room, so you can drop your kids off and have some fun with other adults in the escape room and this metallic monkey if you so choose.
Now we'll check out the water slides. The supercell is the orange one, cyclone is blue, and typhoon is yellow. As you can tell, none of these are accessible because they all have stairs and normally there's a long line. So I'm just going to show a few angles here and then talk a little bit more about them after. just got off the slides, the blue and the yellow, and then the orange one. They said the orange one was super fast. That was like a super launch. And then they said the yellow and the blue were not as fast, but they were still, still fun. Um, they weren't allowed to take the action cam on, which is disappointing. I wasn't able to get that footage. Um, there are There is some footage online of all the people who were able to get it. I don't know if they're partnered with Royal Caribbean or what. They both really liked it. Aiden also went on the Abyss one um, yesterday, the, the fish with the light in front. Um, that was like a dry slide, so you went on a mat. Uh, he also really liked that a lot. And now if you want to just relax, you can go into the music hall and play Name That Tune. I guess this could have fallen under the other vlog, but you can just check it out for a second. Now, if you actually want to move around with music, you can go to Entertainment Place because there's Boleros where they have Latin themed music and live music actually and dancing, but no one I was with wanted to dance. <laughs> And now let's say you want to sing again, you can just go right across the way to Spotlight Karaoke. And they also have other events here during the day. And if you're really feeling special, there's so many different places where you can take photo ops. Hopefully a little less awkward than that. Hello. Hello. And now let's say you told your family that you want to exercise and that you're going to the track. Well, there's other things to do here. You can see the escape boats. And to the right over there, there is also shuffleboard. And you may just run into one of the performers from the shows. I am running into Jordan here, which is one of the ice skaters, and she has a YouTube channel, which I'll link below. Pam and Evie followed her, and they actually ran into her later. Now I follow her on Instagram, and I definitely recommend it because she shows a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff about living and performing on the Utopia. We are in line for the laser tag, which was a non-negotiable activity that I decided that we had to do. But you had to book it ahead of time on the app. People were like, no, just the shows, laser tag to you. I don't know if you have to, but we did. Pam has never done laser tag before, so she is scared and excited. Have fun. Have fun. This is also where the ice skating shows are and where you can ice skate when this obstacle course isn't there. This is actually blown up so it's easy to remove. So they do have accessible seating for the shows in the back row there, which is where I got. But you'll see um, later that there's a lift that you can get ahead of time. I didn't do this for better seating, but as you can see, I had to go down a flight of stairs to get there. And here's the lift here that I was referring to. I don't know too much about how to get that, but I do like that it's an option for better seating and not just the back row. But yeah, laser tag isn't too accessible because even if I did take that lift down, there's this really tight hallway here and even more steps to get into the laser tag area. So I'm assuming this would be very similar for actually going ice skating. Center. Uh, my name is Spring. I'm from Marshall of the Laser Tag. I'm running, jumping, climbing, and crawling inside a battlefield because the floor is quite dangerous, okay, very slippery. I want you guys to have fun, but I want you guys to be safe as well, right? Make sure both hands on the laser at all times. If you let go your hands, it will be working. But if you, if you put your hand back on it again, it will start to work, all right? Okay, and if you get tagged on the chest of the shoulders and on the back, it's going to take around five seconds to get recovered. 
You're Flash. I'm Dodge. Your name is Flash. I'm Dodge. Okay. Is everyone Let's see. The lights on it? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going, going to give you the colors. Okay. If you have the color, please. Yeah, and A and your T. Shoot them. Oh. a miracle that I brought the alien team to victory with all these stairs but I did it and um, the leaderboard that you're going to see on the TV is not even ours but yeah all you have to know is I carried the alien team to victory it was interesting because I've been having an interesting journey with aliens on this trip because we stayed near the um, Kennedy Space Center and we went there I did vlog that, so be on the lookout for that and subscribe. And we stayed in our hotel next to Boeing, and just the area of our hotel was very, like, very out in the open. Whoops, just slap cam. Um, very out in the open, and it just felt like Alien City. Um, so to become an alien was really a full circle moment, and to win as an alien was very fulfilling. I, I, that is what I want to end my alien experience on, on this trip. It didn't end there because if you don't know, finding and hiding rubber duckies is a well-known activity on cruise ships. And as you can see, the Royal Caribbean one is alien themed. Why can't I escape? And also in the event vlog, you will see a show that highly features aliens. So I, I don't know what's going on. So yeah, that was Laser Tag. We loved it. Not that accessible, but they... Do they have people walking around to make sure no one's like running or all that, even though some of the men I didn't see running. But then I shot them just to teach them a lesson. Um, so yeah, really loved it if you're able to do it. Oh, you can't. Oh. If you didn't hear Pam's fact, she was saying you can't gamble at some ports, and that's one of the reasons why she's a great travel agent. Email Pamela at adventuresbyjamie.com to get free travel planning today. Now say everyone's resting or getting ready for formal night and you don't know what to do. Thankfully, the ship has an accessible carousel. As you can see, there's a nice seat that you can go on or strap a wheelchair into. And yeah, it's very pleasant, very enjoyable. And as you can see, I use this as an opportunity to try to get some interesting footage for my action cam. 
uh, mini golf, another activity that you try to do by yourself because everyone promised to do it with you. But every time you went, these clubs right here in that shell were never the right size. They have different lengths there. Um, but yeah, it's a very cute mini golf place. Too bad I didn't get to try it, but it was cool to see all lit up at night, which I will show. <laughs> And now we'll check out the arcade, which is not included. I will clarify what's not included in the description below, but everything that I've shown so far is included. Now, something else that's not included, unfortunately, is the spa, the Vitality Spa and Fitness Center. They have a hair salon there on the left where you can also get your nails done. They have supplements. They just have a lot of health and wellness stuff here. As you can see, the ideal foot, that is an activity that I saw advertised but did not participate in. Um, but yeah, this is a place that I wish were included, but... Um, unfortunately, it's not. So I don't know what goes on behind that renew section. I know I never got renewed, but I had a lot of fun. But, you know, let's just say if they want to sponsor me for a trip to review the spa, I'm definitely open to that um, because I'm showing you this gym here. But I don't know anything about this equipment. OK, I'm just showing it so you can just... <laughs> take your judgments as you wish i'm sorry for the attitude um the attitude will go away with a sponsorship for the spa from royal caribbean so just putting that out there and i believe straight ahead is the bathrooms and locker rooms and whatnot yay it's formal night we all look nice okay it's formal yeah. night so you know what that means you forced photo shoots That was on the day that we were stopped at NASA. So there's Atlanta straight ahead, which there are excursions to. Hey, so behind me, we are at the NASA port, um, but we're not getting out. We're enjoying the ship because last year we went on Disney Wish. If you want to check that out, it's linked above or it's in my channel if I used up all the links. Um, so we're not going out because we just went there last year. Um, but if you want to check out that vlog, I vlogged a lot of NASA. Thanks for watching all about the activities. There were so many. Um, I wish we could have gotten some footage from the slides, but they didn't allow that, which is fine. We didn't break the rules. If I, and that kind of leads me to my next point about accessibility, because I was just about to say, if I went on the slides, I think I could have finagled some footage, but but no, they weren't accessible. Most of them you need to get upstairs to get to, and that wasn't even you know the the end of it like just um you know you had to lay down and get up and down from a lying you know lying down position and there was just a lot of stairs involved and um and yeah that was for all of the slides none of them were accessible i wish at least one was accessible um because when i compare it to the disney wish which has an accessible um you know platform to get up to their slide you know i know it's possible so um, and then, you know, as far as other activities, like it was great how they had the, you know, carous uh, carousel and the boardwalk to have an accessible platform. That was great. Um, but there was like a few other things like rock climbing. It could have been, have an option for accessi accessible, uh, adaptive rock climbing. So yeah, there was like a few things like that where I felt like they could have kind of i wouldn't you know I, I honestly i think kind of easily made the mix uh, accessible but luckily there was plenty to do there was more than enough to do like that it that it was fine um and the zip line also didn't have like an accessible option and like the part where you land kind of jerks your head back so that would have uh been a little tough for me um and then like there are a special adaptive harnesses out there that they didn't have um, but those are more of the physical activities that I'm kind of referring to. Um, but the, all the other activities I'd say were were completely accessible, unless I'm forgetting one. Like 
The ship had so much music on it, music everywhere you go. I, I'm just trying to remember all the activities because there's so many, like there's some we didn't even get to do, like game shows and, and things like that. And, and um, I'm making this vlog kind of early. We still have a few hours and I haven't mini golfed yet. Every time I go up there, it's not available. So I don't know if I'll get to mini golf. If I do, I'll add it as an out outro. If not, then obviously that's high up on my to-do list. But yeah, so many activities. Highly recommend this ship with all that there is to offer on it. Thanks so much for watching this vlog all about the activities and adventures on the Utopia. I've also made vlogs all about the ship itself, the entire tour of the ship, talks about accessibility and all that. Room tours, two of them, because we got an upgrade to a balcony, both accessible rooms and did another one on Coco K and all about the food. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe. I also make vlogs on other travels that I do and I keep accessibility in mind in those reviews. And I also post short form content all about elevating ideas about disability and chronic illness through humor, education, and adventures. So thanks again for watching. Thank <laughs> you.